We're doing we're doing this one Devin Nash style. If you guys haven't seen Devin Nash's videos, they're just like his strategy is just to write on a notepad. I think it's really good. Okay, five five things to improve at ranked. First thing is react and punish things properly. So this is like this is the most important thing. You can literally do this and get Grandmaster. Literally just do this. The things things like whiffing, jumping, dashing, super simple stuff. And anything like this. Just 100% of the time, if you punish this, you're probably Grandmaster. You can react to these things properly. Actually, can Beast go on? It, this is like the simplest thing, but a lot of people who play rank just suck at reacting. They literally let people dash or jump on them so much. Dude, literally, just react. Especially, especially to whiffing. People whiff like crazy. Figure out how to whiff punish them. Figure out how to cover dashes and jumping. At the same time. Literally. I, I I think if someone has perfect whiff punish ability and perfect anti-airs, perfect dash defense, they're Grandmaster. That simple. That's, that's the first one, that's the big one. Any of you, all of you guys in chat too, you need to do this. I swear, I'd be, I'd be sneaking so many dashes and jumps on all of you. It shouldn't work. Reactive punish things properly. Super simple. Knowledge and work ethic. I feel like that and execution, I guess. I don't know. Knowledge and work ethic. So this game has like what 45 matchups? 45 matchups? And every single character has an expansive moveset. People wonder like why. Like all, all top players are really good at all matchups. And you wonder how they do it, it's pretty simple. Literally just work ethic. These guys, all the players on CFN, all the top players, have a crazy amount of playtime. So even if they even if they weren't trying to learn matchups, they would learn all the matchups. Look at Tokido. 51,000 games. For learning matchups, I think it's literally just quantity. If you just if you just Put yourself in the blender and experience everything so much, you're gonna get good at all matchups. So if you're worried about knowledge, I think just top one. If you, if you feel like your knowledge is lacking, a lot of players don't know how to deal with stuff. Literally just play. Play and experiment. Okay, what's the third one? I need a third one. Mindset. Thank you. This 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 almost goes into work ethic, but how positivity. Literally <laughs> I'm I'm great at this. I think I think this is my like best skill, honestly. Is mindset. Dude, go go on the Street Fighter 5 Switch section and look at all the players. So many streamers are always so salty when they lose. I'm salty too, but I don't let it get in the way of my gameplay. I think literally a positive mindset is crucial to being good at like anything. Literally, if if to be good at Street Fighter is to play the game for a massive amount of time, then it makes sense to be positive because if you if you're enjoying what you're doing, you're gonna play more. So it, it almost wraps back up into point number two. How do you have a good work ethic? Positivity. So literally, whenever I'm practicing, I'm always having fun. I'm always doing things for fun. I'm doing stupid stuff. And it leads me to play the game a lot and get really good matchup knowledge and get really good knowledge, like, execution and stuff. Like, all... I feel like that's the key to playing for long amounts of time. Positivity. How do you get positivity? Honestly, it's just it's just recognizing, like humbling yourself. You gotta be humble, I think. Play a character that you find fun. Do you guys have any words on how to be positive? I think it's crucial, but I don't understand how to teach someone to get there. What's what's number four? <laughs> okay, okay. I, I I have a I have a tip. When I was when I was grinding this game a lot and ranking up and like I was diamond and I lost a lot. Every time I get tilted, I turn off the game. I don't do that anymore because I stream. You can't just turn off the stream. But literally, this, this is this is a really good tip. Always turn off the game if you're in a bad mood. You're never gonna get anything good done in a bad mood. On Street Fighter especially, because this game is crazy. It, 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 it'll destroy your mind if you let it. That's what I say, how, how, I, how I keep positive. So my mind has learned that whenever I play Street Fighter, I have a fun time. I'm not angry at anything, because every time I'm angry, I turn it off. Literally, like, don't play when you're angry. Don't rage kill. 
And don't let emotions dictate your decision making. That's a huge one. All three of these are huge. You're, you're like ultimate grandmaster if you have all three of these. I'm trying to think of a fourth one. I know what the fifth one is. Word analysis. This is a pretty complicated one. I'm just gonna put on a Takeda one. This is like, Takeda's the guy for Rising Rift. Every, every really good fighting game player has an acute sense of risk reward. And with the way neutral works in any fighting game, usually minimizing risk is more important than seeking reward. This is a huge thing. A lot of people are really bad at this. Look at Tokido. He's a huge... If you want to learn how to play safe, Tokido. Look at this. He's doing safe buttons that aren't punishable. Minus three. Minus two. They aren't punishable. Then... His opponent does something punishable, and he immediately checks it. There's no risk in checking something that's punishable. There's a safe button that hits. Safe sand blast. Now this sand blast, blast was safe because this guy whipped. You gotta understand why things are safe. He's just reacting to... He's reacting to the jump in. It's safe. It's, reactions are always safe. Basically. They pressure. He has no meter, so no reason not to. What did he get hit for? This guy tagged. Even even the ways Tokido gets loses neutral are not in ways that are like him taking an unnecessary risk. He just got tagged. No punishable things. He's not dashing. He's not jumping. He's just playing footsies. And you look at any good player, they're doing this. He's just playing safe. You gotta understand what safe is and how to play it. And a big thing, on, on the flip side, is learning when to take risks. Let's see if Tokido takes any risks. I don't think he will. I, I think Tokido is so much better than this year that he doesn't even need to take a risk. But sometimes when the reward is really high, I'd say that's, the, that's okay to take a risk, like jump in. But most of the time, just don't take risks. That's this is why Tokido is literally like considered the GOAT of Street Fighter V. Do you, know, you see that match? Luke, there was no risk at all in that whole match. It was all reactions and all like just safe pokes and confirms. That was ridiculous. Even I'm learning watching that. That's why he's the best. He didn't jump, he didn't dash. He just <laughs> raw neutral out. So that's learned from the past. And the last one is if you really want to win. This this one's very obvious. But a lot of people have trouble with this one for some reason. If you truly, if you don't even care about fun anymore and you're just so determined to get better for whatever reason, just pick a top tier. No one's going to judge you. Literally. I'm, I'm playing Luke this season because I want to win. It's what simple is. You know, Sanford said it best. I want, the, <laughs> I want the money to work for me. That one's, that one's really simple. If you really think your character isn't good, don't play him. Really. You gotta, have, you gotta believe in your character. You gotta have a positive mindset. All these things. I'd say this one's the biggest one and it's the hardest one to do. Like, it, it's, a, it's a lot to ask of someone just to ask them to react to every jump and dash. I find the properly. But literally, if you do this one, you'll be better than most people. But then you incorporate the work ethic and positivity to learn like all the knowledge and match trips and execution. And then you learn how to... <laughs> Have good risk reward, and you play a top tier. Forget ranked. Forget ranked. You're just a top player if you do all these things. 